Welcome to the magic of math, where today we're talking markup, which is a type of a percent of increase. Here's our question today. Lucas makes a dress and a jacket to sell. He will sell each piece of clothing for 40% more than the cost in dollars of the materials he bought to make the clothing. We're going to select from the drop down menus to correctly complete the sentences. So this has got two parts, part A or part B, part one, part two, however you want to look at it. The first part, it cost Lucas $22 to make the dress. So he will sell the dress for, and we're given three answer choices in our drop down menu. So before we even look at the second part, I'm going to ask you to pause the video here, determine the cost uh, he was selling the dress for versus the cost to make the dress. So what did he sell it for? This is what it cost him. Go ahead and pause here. Come back when you're ready. Welcome back. So we're going to look at this. We're going to understand that he's selling it for 40% more than the cost, which is a percent of increase, meaning the price is going to cost the customer more than it cost Lucas. So when we talk about this percent of increase, it's a markup. He's marking up the cost. It cost him. So his cost of goods to make the dress was $22. And which of these three values, you can see they're all more, are going to be his markup to the customer. So when we do this, we want to look at the $22 and what he's going to sell the dress for. And we're going to do this. We're going to have method one and method two. So method one, we're going to find 40% of 22. So we know he's marking it up 40%. So what is 40% of the $22? All right, so when we do that, we're gonna find the 40% and we're gonna add it on to 22. So 22 plus 40% of 22. Or we can use method two, where if we know that it's 40% add the 22, well, 22 is 100% of his cost plus 40% of that added on. So we're gonna say 140% of the 22 because that 140% is 100% of his cost plus the 40% markup, 140%. So we're gonna find 140% of 22, and that's what he sold the dress for. Or method one, find 40% and add it to the 22. So when we do this, we're gonna solve it two different ways as well. We're gonna use a proportion, and we are going to use an equation. So we'll write and solve a proportion. We'll write and solve an equation. Proportion is gonna be a percent written as a fraction and then part to the whole. Equation is gonna be a percent of the whole is equal to that part. Sometimes we'll know the part, sometimes we'll know the whole, sometimes we'll know the percent. One value, percent, part, or whole will be missing. All right, so method one. We want to find 40% of $22, and I'm going to do this both with a proportion and with an equation. So when we write our proportion, we are going to say 40 over 100. That represents 40%. 40% as a decimal is 0 0.40, 40 one hundredths, 40 one hundredths. And then we know we don't know what the 40% is but we know the 100% of his cost was $22. So now we're gonna do cross product to solve. 100 times X is equal to 40 times 22. To solve this, we get a multiply 40 times 22, which is 880. To solve for X, we're gonna divide each side by 100. What I do to one side of an equation, I must do to the other. 100 divided by 100 is one, leaving me X. 880 divided by 100 is 8.8, .8, which is $8.80. So our $22 plus our $8.80 is equal to $30.80. So Lucas's cost for the materials to make the dress, his 40% markup to the customer, and the customer will pay $30.80. Now let's validate this with our second way to solve a percent problem with an equation. So we're gonna say that 40% written as a decimal, whenever you write it in an equation, you use a fraction or a decimal, I'm gonna use a decimal. 40% times 
you take the decimal point and move it two spaces to the left, giving me 0 0.40. Multiplied by 22 will equal that amount. When we do that math, we get 8.8 .8 or $8.80, which gives us the same value. All right, now method two, remember this way, I'm gonna find 140% of 22 and not need to add it back on. So when we do a proportion and an equation, to write the proportion, we're gonna do our percent is 140 over 100, and we don't know what 140% is, we know the 100% is 22. Do cross product property, 100 times X is equal to 140 times 22. We'll multiply 140 times 22 and get 3,080. Now to solve for x, I'm going to divide each side by 100. 100 divided by 100 is 1 or x. And then 3,080 divided by 100 is going to give me 38.8, which is $30.80. Now let's look at this through the equation. I'm going to take my percent, which is 1.40, Take my decimal point and move it two spaces to the left, 1.40, multiplied by the 22 it cost him. When we do that, 140% of 22 is 30.8, which is $30.80 written as money. So both method one and method two got me to the same place. So let's go look at our drop down answers. We came up with $30.80, and we can see that that is our second entry in the drop down box. All right, let's move on to part two. Lucas will sell the jacket for $44.80 because it cost him one of these to make the jacket. So now we're doing it in reverse. We know what he sold it for. We wanna know what it cost him. Remember, it was 40% markup. Here's where I want you to pause the video. You solve the second part and then come back and hit play to see my work. Welcome back. So just a reminder, Lucas is selling a jacket for $44.80, which is a 40% markup. And we want to determine what it cost him to make the jacket. So let's go ahead and understand that it's the cost of his materials added to 40% of the cost, his markup, is equal to $44.80. So this was the selling price. So he took the cost, and an additional 40% of the cost, and together these two things are $44.80. So when we look at this, if we let the cost be X, we don't know what the cost was for him to make the jacket. So that's our X. And then we know that we're gonna take this written as a decimal, so take the decimal point, move it two spaces to the left, so 0 0.40 of the cost. So multiplied by X, what we don't know. We don't know what it cost him but 40% of that cost plus that cost equals $44.80. If we add these together, we imagine that there's an invisible one here. So that one plus that 0 0.40 is 1.40x equals 44.80, which is what he sold the jacket for. To solve this, we're gonna divide both sides by the coefficient 1.40. 1.40 divided by 1.40 is 1, leaving me x. And then I divide 44.80 by $1.40, and I get 32. So that means he sold the jacket for $32. Now let's look at it as a proportion. I know that 100% plus 40% is 140%. So it's a hunt. this right here, this value is 140% of what it cost him. So now I know the 140%, but I don't know the 100%. I don't know what it 100% of what it cost him to make it. I only know the 140% it cost him to sell it. So let's do cross product property. 140 times X is equal to 100 times 4480, which means I'm just gonna move the decimal point two spaces to the right, 4,480. I'm gonna divide both sides by 140 to solve for X. 140 divided by 140 is 1. 4,480 divided by 140 is 32. So when we go back to our work, we know that X is 32, which remember, that was the cost to Lucas to make the jacket, which is our first answer choice. So he 
sold the jacket for $44.80. It cost him $32 in materials to make the jacket. And that is how we find markup as a percent of increase using proportions and equations two different ways. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you have a great day and that you'll come back soon.